Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to show you guys a really cool siding system that I got in. Um, I think it's quite innovative. This is called a Mi Pro Light. Mi Pro Light. Show you guys the package. Yeah, you can see up there, Mi Pro Light. Um, I normally don't do unboxing videos, but I thought that you guys should get a chance to look at this before I installed it. Okay. And what it does is, this is a rear sight, okay? Uh, and the way the system works is, uh, front sight comes completely off, and this is going to, you know, the rear sight's going to come off, and this is going to slide in and replace the rear sight on your Glock, okay? Um, the, the, obviously, i got to get, I'm waiting on the cover plate. i got to put a cover plate here so it's not hanging in the air. Uh, so this use, you only use this as a rear sight. There's no front sight to this. Let me get behind the camera and I'll show you guys what you what you see when you look through this. Okay, there you go. Once you get proper sight alignment, you can see how you see a circle with a dot in the center. Okay, and if you're off, right, you can see how you can see a reflection. Okay, that kind of gives you an idea of what direction you need to move into. Okay. And then it's to get to get your sight alignment. Okay, so the way this works is that it has a uh, a fiber optic wire uh, in there to collect the light and reflect it back. Okay, it also has tritium in there so that if um, if it's completely dark, you'll still be able to see um, you know you'll still be able to see that bullseye. Um, so so yeah, we, we, if you have fiber optic only. You're not going to see anything like, like right now the sights on this p80 that's fiber optic only so at night right, although it looks pretty bright right now that at night that's dead you cannot see the front sight on this gun okay um so so this is uh, i think it's quite innovative um the the reason why i'm trying this out is uh about a month or two ago i was called to a gun range uh to train somebody first time shooter um and uh, I've never seen this system before. They had just bought a, uh, a SIG 365 that comes with that Mitralite pre-installed on it. So I picked up the gun to do a chamber check, make sure there was nothing in there. And I saw there was no front sight on the gun. Okay, and I'm like, what the hell? I, they, they, they shipped you a gun without sights on it. Um, and then I kind of saw this on the back. It only took me a couple of seconds to figure out how this thing works. Uh, and I thought it was, it was pretty cool. Um, now, you know, why would you want to use this? Why, why, you know, why, why is this better than iron sights? Or why would it be better? Why, why wouldn't you use a red dot instead? Well, here's the thing. Um, with, the, with the red dot, okay, for one thing, I find that with new shooters, it's really hard for them to learn, right? If they, you know, it's really hard for them to learn to line up their sights and get it on target when they're learning. And also that I find that when I stress them, it's also difficult for them to line up their sights. Because when you got three sights, there's three things you're looking at. Rear sight, front sight, target at a distance. And uh, the key to all that is got to focus on your front sight. Okay, so that, that's, that's kind of hard for a new shooter to do. Um, so I've been using the, the red dot systems. Okay, so with the red dot system, the nice thing about this is when you hold this out there, right? Okay, you're just looking at your target in the distance and your dot is on the target so essentially it's holographic right even though it's not really holographic it appears holographic it appears out there you're focusing at your target at a distance which is kind of like the natural thing to do right if there's a threat in front of you you're going to be focusing at your at the threat you're not going to be you know it, it takes a lot of discipline to be looking at your front sight if you got somebody threatening you at a distance um so that's one of the problems with iron sight systems that's the reason why red dots Works so well. The, now, on a rifle, with a rifle, you got four points of contact. You got your two hands, your chest, and your face on the gun. So, when you anchor the gun to your face, you know, by the gun, by the stock being on your face, your eyeballs usually in the right position so that you can pick up your red dot really quickly. With the pistols, okay, in order to find your red dot really fast, you gotta come out, you gotta have perfect presentation in order to find it immediately every time uh, but life is not you know it doesn't always give you the chance to use perfect per, uh, perfect presentation so if you're doing this one-handed right and you're coming out like that and going there right right you know switching hands going there you know it takes it can be a little bit more difficult 
to find that red dot. Uh, usually you got to play around with the gun a little bit, you know, move, move it around a little bit so you can pick up that, that red dot. Uh, or you got to go to your iron sights. That's why with red dots, uh, you know, red dots on pistols, I always want to have iron sights on the guns. So if I can't find that red dot, I go back to my iron sights and I use that as a point of reference. Um, so, so, so that's, you know, so here's the thing. With the red dots, I find that, they're, that, that if you're shooting unconventional positions or if you're shooting under stress, uh, it can be a lot slower. With the iron sights, if I'm, you know, I mean, I can find that I can pick them up a lot faster, okay? Uh, but new shooters have a much harder time picking them up. Um, and here's the thing that I have found. I have found that new shooters are a good way to test how experienced shooters will react under serious stress. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Think about this. If you're, you know, everybody knows how to use a key, right, to open up a lock. Right? We do it every day. It's pretty easy. Think about when you're under stress, right, you know, how difficult it can be to find the right key, get in the keyhole, turn it, you know, um, you know, it, you know, so something that you do every day when you're under stress, when you're nervous, when you're scared can be very difficult. So that's what I have found with iron sights. A lot of times when I stress people, when I, when I put them in very difficult situations to test them, I will find that they have a much harder time picking up their, picking up their iron sights. Okay. Um, so, uh, with, with, and again, with the iron sights, we're looking at three things, rear sight, front sight, target. Uh, the nice thing about this is instead of looking at three things, we're only looking at two things, okay? Um, we're basically just looking at, um, you know, at the, at the, uh, the bullseye, right? Just got to line that up and, and get that on the target. Now, I, I have to test it out as far as if I need to put it on it or underneath it. Um, I'll let you guys know after I install this how I got to, um, you know, how this, how this, how you need to actually aim this. Um, but, uh, when I tested it on the SIG 365, uh, SAS, um, I found that I was able to get on target pretty quickly one handed, you know, so I was almost as quick with that me pro light, uh, as I am with iron sights, um, you know, when I'm using it one handed in awkward position. So that's why I think that this has a, a good deal of potential. Okay. So this is something I'm going to. I'm gonna install on this on this P80 here. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting for that that cover plate to come in. I, I got I was able to get one for about sixteen dollars. I'm gonna install this Mepro light, which cost one hundred twenty nine dollars on Amazon for the green one. Okay. Uh, the nice thing about ordering this on Amazon uh, is if I end up not liking it, uh, you know, I can just send it right back. Okay. And I'll, you know, so it's easy return. So that's that that's something that makes me feel really good about testing new products out. Um, but I think that this has some 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 good potential. It's got um, so like I said, it's, it slides into your rear sight, right? Right. That should, that should look familiar to everyone who's ever installed the rear sight. Uh, and it's got two Allen screws over here to kind of secure it in place. Um, and it also has two Allen screws up here in the front. Okay, in case you ever need to change the fiber optic out. Uh, and another benefit of this is it's pretty flat. All right, so. Um, you know, once I remove the sights on this, this is going to sit like really close to the top of the slide. Okay, so um, the way that SIG markets this, right, on their, on their uh, 365 SAS, they, they market this as a no snag system, right, because you don't have the sights sticking up to snag on things. So they market this as a no snag system. So I definitely see the benefit to that. Um, you know, my uh, main interest is that I wanted something that is as easy to use as a red dot um but i can still but, but has the quick target the quick, the quick uh, acquisition of iron sights okay so i want something that's easy to use as a red dot but has the quick uh acquisition potential as iron sights so that's what i'm looking for um and my initial tests with this were pretty positive so i'm going to test this out some more and then uh, in the next couple of weeks i'm going to make a report to you guys uh, other thing is that this is obviously very light because it's small Okay, uh, much lighter than a, um, you know, the red, than this Holosun 507C. Right? I, this is a pretty light one, right? It's pretty small as far as red dots go, for pi pistol red dots, but that's going to be even a lot lighter. Uh, so this is something that, you know, you know, that, that's the reason why this was, you know, you can install this like on a, 
on, on a Shield 9 or on a, um, you know, a, a, a SIG 365 because it's so, you know, small and low profile. So this has some real potential. Um, and I'm, I'm going to have new shooters test, you know, test this out and I'm going to observe them. You know, I use new shooters as the testing ground because, you know, pretty much anything I pick up, you know, I'm going to be able to shoot pretty good, right? Because I, I shoot all the time. Um, you know, I mean, in fact, you know, I've, I've shot, you know, Glock-like guns with no sights on them, right? No sights. Remove the rear sights. You know, within a couple of shots, I can figure out where I got to position my top slide so I can hit my targets and I can hit them, you know, you know, let's say one out of four times with no sights on the gun at all, you know, at about 15 feet. So I'm not the best person to decide what's going to be the best thing for new shooters and for other people. I want the new shooters, um, to, you know, to give me that information because whatever they're able to learn quickly and easily um, is going to be uh, easier for people like me, people like you guys that are more experienced, to be able to shoot under stressful situations, okay? So the, the new shooters give us a clue as to what is best for stressful situations. So uh, looking forward to doing that video. Uh, you know, it should be out within, I should have this, you know, tested within the next two weeks. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.